it's Demi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all having a fabulous day. Ooh, Rajvan. The hair. I did this this morning. I'm going for a meal tonight. I have family up in Newcastle from Southport and we're going for a meal. And I just thought while I was doing my housework the day, this is the situation that I'm going to be looking like. So it is currently a Sunday. I'm going to an Italian tonight, Sambucas, which I'm really excited for because my cousin India and her dad, my uncle Paul is up. Um, so we're going to go for a meal and then obviously my dad's coming, my grandma's coming, Sean's coming. So it'll just be nice and India is actually staying in Newcastle for two nights and we're having a day trip to York, a day trip to Durham. And we're just going to be spending some time together. I really love saying her. She's just like a little mini me. I love her a bit. Um, so India is going to be staying at my house. That will all be on next week's weekly vlog, all of the ventures we get up to. Today is kind of just to follow me around kind of day i'm just going to clean up a little bit i need to change the bedding in the main room i need to just double check the spare room bedding and everything's clean i have two bags of clean washing to empty um, and i'm just going to be pottering around so i thought i would vlog as you can probably tell at the minute i'm really loving just your traditional vlogs where your followers round. um i just find them really fun to be honest and i just find it's more authentic i love editing that style of video so i've been doing a lot of them if they're not for you let us know i'll still do them because it is my channel at the end of the day but i'll mix it up a bit um so i'm gonna go upstairs get the bed and done I absolutely hate it it's one of my worst household tasks is changing the bed and sean's currently at work and um, he finishes at six so i'm gonna also walk the pup as it's absolutely freezing i've just blasted the heating in the house for an hour because i'm so cold but yeah they need walked as well so we'll have quite a bit to do but I think we should just start by getting it done. You're a beautiful girl, Lou. But I need to do the bedding. So you're actually going to have to relocate yourself while I do the bedding. Mummy hates this job. I bloody hate it. It's just so time consuming. And I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. We have to do it every week because you and Henry are messy. And we've got autumn bedding on. and we've got that autumn bedding on. Can you believe that? We're a nuisance. We are a nuisance. We are a nuisance. God, the sheet gets absolutely grim because I have two dogs. It gets covered in hair, just covered in shit. Not literal shit, but like dog shit. Not literal dog shit, but you know, just dog. But I wouldn't change it for the world. I'd still have them sleep in my bed and have to do it every single week. Sometimes twice a week. Yeah, and our, our, our mattress now has a hole in it. Henry decided he wanted to create a den, didn't you, Henry? Right, you're all going to have to get out, though. Yeah, that's your responsibility, because you did that. Oh, you did it! No! Right, out the perrier. Get out! Out! Do that! Oh, Jesus, don't start this, please. No, 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 no! Get out! Get out of the room! Out! No, Luna! God, no! God! <laughs> Get out! No, Henry out! Take her out! Go and find somewhere else to play. Got these great sheets from Amazon and they're absolutely amazing. Do I own these sheets? Absolutely not. Do you? Um, but these are absolutely amazing because they're deep. And we have a really deep mattress and all my other sheets fling off. By the way, you can't feel the hole in the mattress, so yes, I am just covering it because you can't feel it in the bed so it is what it is see it's not this bit i specifically hate it's actually the duvet if this works the first time i am going to be laughing you stay there oh there it is oh my god this might have actually worked Wait there, get your corners at the top, Demi. Oh, see there's no corner there, is there? Because this corner has gone somewhere. It's not the corner. Guys, I've tried all the tips and techniques on how to do these and it never, ever works. Shh. Try to do a bed in here. Well, go right up. There's Velcro on it because my dog chews buttons. I actually think it's pretty genius, the Velcro. Have I come up with the idea? That's a corner. Corner to corner. Eww! Oh, it's nearly done. What's this lump, though? 
Oh no, what is this lump? Pat to Marley, I'm sweating. Right. When it's done, I will let you in. Mama's gonna sing you a lullaby. There we go. By the DD standards. This is great. New bedding. What do you think? I had one of my Yubi protein bars before. Um, I've only really had, I didn't really have breakfast. I had like a black coffee. I'm having three of the vegan Richmond sausages because we're not going out for the meal till seven and I'm hungry. so much to do but obviously I'm not going to neglect them the need enrichment please so I've just washed their Kongs they have a Kong each like a dummy Kong to be honest I got them when they were puppies and it was the best thing I ever bought for them really expensive for like a rubber dummy but they're such a high quality rubber like my pups are two years old and you can see like there is wear and tear but they're just so good so I've got two of them and then we'll have this Kong who my mom actually gave away um I think it was Dolly's but she didn't really like it so we use it um and then they also have two teddy toys where you like put treats in the belly so I'm gonna see what treat options we're having and then just stuff all of the toys and the pups will be able to play with that for a good few hours what time it is don't you I think you do Right, so I have, right, get down to mommy and sort it out. We've got some little pedigree, tasty minis, chicken and duck flavor. We'll have flavor, flavor. I have the wag sensitive ones. Then we'll have the different dog hen and herb. Then we'll have the tail super food duck bites. And then I have the liver paste. And I have this wee box um, dog and lick chicken and peanut butter paste. And then just some regular treats. So I'm going to sort this out for them and then they'll be playing. Wait until mommy's done it. So, we'll do the teddies first. It's like I'm giving an operation to their teddy. Here we have surgery of Mrs. Flamingo. <laughs> right, so they really like these pedigree ones, so we'll pop one of these in. Can have one of them. We'll do one in this one too. Just check there's no leftover treats. One in there. We'll have a sensitive wag one. One in there. Just have to make sure it's not too hard for them to get out. Another one in there. In there. Teddy's done. And then for this Kong, we'll have a few sausages at the bottom. We'll have some duck superfood treats. Now well, we'll have two of them. And then we'll have some doggy chocolate buttons and some mini bones and then we'll have one of these because these are quite big so they kind of like lock it in and then we'll have in this one we'll do the wee box stick disgusting and then in this one we'll do a few treats but not too many because we're going to do paste in this one I can best get it in the Kong this way give it a good taste of it we've got teddy ones and then we'll have dummy ones we'll have that one 
have fun guys the internet really really makes like me confused sometimes obviously i am very open online i always have been which it opens up a whole vulnerability doesn't it of like people being able to judge every aspect of your life and i'm fine with that like i'm getting paid for people to judge my life i don't really care i'm living the best life i love my life but like i am just looking at the comments on the video that i just uploaded before this one this is going out wednesday so it's my sunday weekly vlog and i was basically talking about like how i got a bit unmotivated with the gym and stuff and there's like a thread from this comment I call J Ray, who um, there's a lovely like lady who's kind of commented underneath it as well. So it's like a 15 comment thread. And I'm just so baffled. Like I'm not even gonna reply to the comment on the actual reply and give them the time of day. Although I am giving them the time of day on this vlog, just because while I'm making this vlog, I'm earning money. If I sit and reply to their comment on there, I'm not earning money, so I might as well make the most of it. <laughs> but it's like because I was talking about like struggling with the gym and stuff and it's like their comment was you're just aimless and lazy there's you're only motivated a few days and then you relapse well actually I went to the gym for two months straight so that wasn't a few days but okay stop eating crap okay if it was that easy then I wouldn't eat the crap and get that lumpy body to the gym <laughs> like it's just such a nasty way of like basically telling someone to get to the gym and it's like if you care about your mental health stop making excuses before you cry about the trolls stop that too no one cares apart from you <laughs> how you feel only you can change it stop trying to get sympathy for your lack of aim okay but then it's like that's fine but then like the comment underneath is just like someone replying going so you've got your life all figured out good for you buddy and then it, it goes on a bit and then they're just like if giving constructive criticism is hard for anyone to handle, then move on. In the real world, she wouldn't be behaving like this. Do I not live in the real world? Like, do people who do this job not live in the real world? Our stresses don't matter. What I do, like, you know, my life plans, all of that doesn't matter because I don't live in the real world. Like, really, you actually, are you okay? Are you okay? Is that your mentality? Like, I'm just like, what? And then it's like, um, she makes crappy vlogs. Well, if they're so crappy, why have you clicked on it? Why are you so invested in my life if my vlogs are that crappy? And has a hundred excuses for sitting on a bum all day. You don't say what I do outside the camera. And even if I did sit on my bum all day and I was still making the living that I'm like making and still earning what I earn, good for me. Good for me. You seem fine going on holidays. <sighs> Isn't everyone fine going on a holiday? Next big one is... Um, Someone harsh seems unsympathetic, but the truth is she'll go down a rabbit hole if she doesn't stop with the excuses. I'm the, I don't have excuses. Mental health is not an excuse. And this person clearly does, is clearly old fashioned. They clearly don't realize that mental health matters and it is so important. And they're like, I'm all for being positive, but I just feel a lot of these YouTubers use mental health as an excuse. I'm sorry, what? As an excuse for what? Like, you cannot sit there. You do not know anybody's mental health. You can't sit there and say you're using it as an excuse. You don't know what goes on in anybody's head. In anybody's head. I'm just like, what? Um. Anyway, not do things and then don't even upload. It doesn't help anyone going through the same. They need people who show them life is to live. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm living my life. Whether I'm living it greatly, badly, sadly, happily, I'm still living a life. <laughs> um. Other than that, other than that, no one's positive always, but these YouTubers are constantly making excuses and throwing the mental health card about. Okay, me love, like, you oh, clearly just don't watch my videos. You've already said the crap, just don't watch them. Anyway, it just makes us, like, I can predict the comments I'm going to get on a YouTube video these days. To be fair, I didn't predict that one. But, like, a lot of the time when I'm editing a video, in my head, I'll be like, someone's going to comment on this, and someone's going to say this, and someone's going to say this. And that's just because I've been in the industry so long, and I know how shitty people comment and I know people's mentality and I know what they think and I know just like I can judge myself I am my biggest worst critic like I judge myself way more than anybody else ever could but in anyway I just felt like I wanted to discuss I'm replying to comments on my latest vlog and there's some shitty ones but it's fine I feel great okay so for the meal I just want to put on a little bit of makeup so I feel more put together India has arrived she's just downstairs she's watching the Vampire Diaries on telly, but I need to just do my makeup. Right, so I'm just putting some of this exfoliating thing on. I got this ages ago and I honestly love it. It's um, J Glow Swipe to Glow Exfoliating Tonic. As you can see, I have like a tiny bit left. 
it's from where did I even get it I feel like I got it from Superdrug I could be wrong um I feel like I don't want to float me on boat actually who am I kidding I always float me on boat but I have nailed the heatless curls and I'll show you if these ones turn out nice I'm going to redo them tonight for tomorrow and I'll show you how I did them anyway I'm going in with my moisturizer I'm currently using the Charlotte Tilbury magic cream to be ha to be honest I have a few moisturizers on the go at the minute but I do love this one I, like the first tub that I had of it I did think it was a bit overrated but the more I use it the more improvements I see with my skin like this is my second tub now right makeup wise I'm gonna do uh... okay so for my makeup I'm gonna go in with my collection fill I finish going for quite a simple makeup look but it's like my go-to when I'm just going out somewhere cash and I just want a bit of slap on for foundation at the minute I cannot stop using this oh hi Henry are you okay I can't get enough of it it's the Eborean um super baby cream it's kind of like a mix between a foundation and a skincare but it's so good it is anti-imperfections spf of 20 i honestly just love it so much so you can see all the redness around my nose just get your beauty blender dab it in up is your uncle and i just feel like it feels light on your skin like it doesn't feel really cakey but i feel like it gives you such good coverage the main contour that i use is the ordinary concealer and i use the shade 4.1 it's like a dark concealer but the contour sticks just weren't blending enough for us this blends so perfect i do my nose as well now and i blend although i do actually sometimes go in and wet my sponge with this vitamin e um spray that i got from superdrug because it just gives it a like nice texture roll her up oh my god i hope these curls have worked i've literally had them in all day it just gives you such a lovely shade and i love it majority of my makeup's done now i've been like liking wearing this brown eyeliner from too faced the scent is it and i really like it although i am still learning how to do eyeliner because it's never been something i could do but i'm just kind of winging it <laughs> i've done my makeup to take this out and hopefully it's gone well Top i think that had kind of fell out anyway oh my god guys look oh, i think i think oh god okay then what i do i get my panel brush because i feel like it definitely works best and i scoop over them okay and then i'm gonna get a bit of my hair oil rub it in and kind of just like run it through my hair i love the volume and just oomph that it gives my hair and this is the hair finished i just think oh the volume the curls i just love it love 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 it and that is going to end another video thank you so much for clicking on this one i hope you've all had a fabulous day and i'll see you very shortly for another one bye